It's time for us to draw our panel together. Here we are, guys, We're here. to take on a hard question. On the panel today is uh, my co-host, Amy Schaefer, co-pastors at Grace Life Church in Monroeville, Pennsylvania, Dr. William Glaze, who's the lead pastor at Bethany Baptist Church in Pittsburgh, Amen. Pennsylvania, and Ranye Saeg, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, okay, yes. now from, from Hope, House of Prayer and Exploits in Nazareth, yeah. Israel, and then Cornerstone's chaplain and all around knower of nose, Chuck Hamby. We're so glad to start this it off. It feels a little uncool being from Monroeville when she's from Nazareth, from Nazareth. Israel. <laughs> well, I'm just got, saying. We've got a wide, uh, we've got a wide breath of, 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 a breath of, uh, of uh, uh, distance here. <laughs> Uh, we bring wisdom to all directions. Yes, right. Now, I want you guys to remember, now you at home remember this. These folks don't know what the question is beforehand. Although many have threatened me or actually bribed me and <laughs> yeah. said, hey, why don't you tell me so I can prepare. <laughs> See, if, if, if you prepare a pastor with a question, they'll come back with a three-point sermon. It's that's true. What, <laughs> that's what's going to come. <laughs> and with an a, altar call and an altar call. I don't know. A, hermeneutics would be all applied. <laughs> so they don't know what the question is. No one knows this question except for myself. And now here is today's hard question. Guys, and ladies and gentlemen, why did Jesus choose Judas? to be one of his disciples? <laughs> Jesus to fulfill all things. He knew the future. I mean, I know he knew, God knows, but why did he choose Judas mm. to be a disciple? Wow. Because it was to fulfill what had been set in motion before the world began. Uh, God wasn't surprised by what Judas did. Two things God never says, uh-oh and oops. And oops. Oops, no, God doesn't say it. Because he knew exactly what the plan was. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that, you know, we, we speak about relationships. And, and the, the amazing thing to me is that Jesus loved Judas as much as he loved John. He did. That's, that, 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 that is very true. Mm -hmm. He did. Pastor, what's your response? Well, I think that... Uh, uh, it, it didn't have to be Judas, but it had to be somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think what happened was that Judas opened himself up to be yeah. the one. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture says that after they sopped together, that uh, Satan entered into Judas. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. And so he had to open himself up for that. Yeah. Right. And when he opened himself up for that, uh, he came in and uh, he was uh, going to be the one that betrayed Jesus. Yeah. And then, you know, the other interesting thing... Uh, a passage that I struggle with and I still haven't really quite totally understood. I think I have some idea, but it says that when, after Judas committed suicide, mm -hmm. he went into his own place. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering if that's, you know, was that mm -hmm. the place where of eternal damnation, mm -hmm. you know, because he was the one that opened himself up to be used to betray the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what do you say? Yeah, I believe here that, um, it, first of all, it's a fulfillment of prophecy. So I totally agree with Pastor here that it had to be somebody. But, you know, always my heart was, so, Lord, what was really your heart for Judas then? Yes. The, the heart of the Lord for Judah was the same mm -hmm. for him, for Peter, because mm -hmm. Peter did not actually commit a less dramatic uh, sin uh, as Judah did. Mm -hmm. But the only uh, difference here, mm. one has chosen to repent right. and the other did not. Amen. So the longing mm -hmm. of the Lord was, mm -hmm. will you repent? Yeah. Mm. I, I felt like, like Jesus the whole time was believing in Judas and believing that, probably knowing what was going to happen, but also he picked his disciples uh, on purpose yeah. by hearing the voice of God. So right. it, it wasn't like, oh, hmm, maybe he'll do, oh, it was like a, st a strategic on purpose. It was not by accident that he was part, but... He was, he was with, he walked with Jesus, yes. talked with Jesus, mm -hmm. ate with Jesus, yep. did life and ministry with he Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus had to love him and believe in him to the very end. And not only that, Jesus made him the treasurer. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Judas was in charge of the treasury. Mm -hmm. He was the keeper of the purse. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he was trusted by, mm -hmm. by, yeah. by, by Jesus for that. Now, some say that he stole from the purse, but, but he was trusted as the keeper of the purse. Mm -hmm. He was part of the disciples that when he was sent out, yep. that Jesus breathed on them the Holy Spirit and he yeah. sent them out and they saw miraculous things right. happen. So we put Judas in this position and say, was he always 
chosen to be the, dis, the betrayer? Mm. Or was he, did he, and I hear you saying that, that he made the decision exactly. to be the betrayer. Right. It could have been any of the 12, potentially. But he and opened that, himself up. You know, the other thing I was going to say, too, is that, you know, that passage in Matthew that says, uh, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we do wonderful mm -hmm. works? Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, it scares me to think that, you know, there are still Judases in the church today. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. you know, they're out there mm -hmm. serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, they're doing great things, but they don't know Christ. Mm -hmm. they, they don't have that mm -hmm. intimate relationship uh, it, through salvation with him. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, that's kind of uh, concerning. And, and the thing that you said earlier, uh, Dr. Glaze, that Judas had to open himself up. Mm -hmm. It's always by choice. Mm -hmm. right. That's exactly Choose you this day whom mm -hmm. you will serve. Mm -hmm. Do you think it was a tie into the money? Because you know, 30 pieces of silver wasn't a great deal of money. Mm -hmm. 30 pieces of silver was about what an average laborer would make in mm -hmm. four months. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So it wasn't a wealth. It wasn't something that would give them, like in our world today, millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was just four months worth of work. That's true. So he didn't do it to become wealthy. Right. So what, how did the money tie into this equation? Do you think there was a tie into well, the money? I think that any time you open yourself up, and I, I'm just going to say this to, to Satan, mm -hmm. that he comes in and he makes mm -hmm. you do things that you shouldn't do. You know, because afterward, what did he do with the money? He tried to take it back and give it back. So mm -hmm. it wasn't about the money. It was about the fact that he was under control mm -hmm. of, of Satan. Right. And that he did things that somebody in their right mind that, that, you know, was focused in loving the Lord and serving the Lord wouldn't have done. So I think he was heavily influenced by, by Satan. I think, too, the story of <clears throat> Judas reminds us to guard our heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. And he did not guard his heart. Right. And it's mm -hmm. easy to let your guard down mm -hmm. and to let, ooh, lust, the pride of life, mm -hmm. you know, arrogance, pride, everything mm -hmm. can get in your <coughs> heart. But we have to be on guard and keep that heart right for God and keep it pure. Right. Well, there's a theory that Judas was a zealot, and a zealot wanted to take the uh, back the, from Rome, the kingdom of Israel by force, and that he was waiting for Jesus to rise up and mm -hmm. call his army together mm -hmm. to, to start that battle, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and that if he would have put Jesus in a compromising position with, with, the, with Rome, kind of pushed the, the envelope, that Jesus would have taken the offensive and his army would have risen up and they would have fought. There's, that's a theory about mm -hmm. what Judas might have been, mm -hmm. what about motivated him to say, okay, uh, I'm tired of waiting, and Jesus wasn't doing what he thought he should do, so he kind of mm -hmm. said, let's, let's get you out on the edge of that. Right. I don't know if that's a true theory or not. We do know this, that he was motivated, whether it was purely spiritual or whether it was prideful, which is spiritual, mm -hmm. to do something that was against God's plan. Right. Mm -hmm. And when he did that, Chuck, then he went on his own. Yeah, John says that there are three areas of, of temptation, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Mm -hmm. That's what Eve faced in the garden. And somewhere along the line, Judas faced it. Mm -hmm. And he did about as well as Eve did. Yeah. I, I would yeah. question what, you know, was it part of God's exact plan or was it not that Judas was used? Well, you know, in, in the Psalms, it says that it was predestined that someone right. would betray him. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, right. you know, you know that, that is, was a prophecy that was given. Mm -hmm. But, it, you know, again, you know, did it have to be Judas? Yeah, yeah. But, but I believe also that it, it wasn't, it didn't have to be that the end mm. would be suicide. Yeah. Because yeah. Peter right. did the same thing. Yes. And was, yeah. was used greatly by the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's really rooted in not the money that mm -hmm. uh, uh, have motivated him, mm -hmm. but the love of money. And that's yeah. why the Lord went to Peter and said, Did you, do you love me more than these? Yeah. Yeah. It really goes back to that place of guarding our hearts, Amy, as you were sharing. Is the guarding our hearts do we really have this knowing of the Lord and the intimate relationship with Him, yes, right. which will guard us yes. from these, the love of money. Right. So, so let's close this question with this. They were at the Lord's table celebrating the Seder, the Jewish mm -hmm. Passover. Mm -hmm. All of these men together, there was no indication mm -hmm. that Judas would have been the mm -hmm. betrayer until it was in that Lord's Supper when there was a revelation and Jesus made the revelation, what you do, go, what you do, do quickly. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and that's when Judas left and he went out and he, he, did, he did what he did. Mm -hmm. As we celebrate 
Easter mm -hmm. and the Passover yeah. this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to check our hearts. Yes. Right. We need yes. to guard our hearts and check our hearts, check our motivations. Yes. Because even if we think we're doing the right thing for God in our own way, maybe Judas was like that. Maybe he yeah. was. Let's give him that thought. Mm -hmm. That was wrong. We need to serve God as obedient servants. Yes. As, right. Put all of our all of our conditions aside and mm -hmm. say, God, I'm yours. Yes. Use me. Yes. This when you celebrate the Lord's Supper, the Passover and the Lord's Supper mm -hmm. this year, let that be your heart's cry. Mm. Lord, just review my heart mm -hmm. and open myself up to you. Make me the man, the woman that mm -hmm. you want me to be so that I can be in your hands. What if he yeah. hadn't done that? If we yeah. had more time, we said, what if he hadn't done that? Mm. Would there be a book of Judas written mm. in the Bible? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, would Judas gone out and evangelized mm -hmm. parts mm -hmm. of the world? We don't know because he didn't follow God. So mm -hmm. follow God. Thank you, guys. Right. Yes. Thank, Thank you for your time. The end of that passage in one of the Gospels says, when he went out and it was night. And it was yeah. night. Mm. It, 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 not, and, the, and the sun never rose again mm -hmm. in, in his life. And in just a minute, mm -hmm. we're going to come back. We're going to say a prayer and agree with what prayer request you've called in. But before we do that, let's see what's on tomorrow's real life.